Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the reissue of the Transformer original G1 Autobot Bumblebee. So yeah, recently uh, Hasbro has been releasing uh, a couple of uh, old cool G1 figures and I, I've been at my local uh, Walmart and I saw uh, pretty much all of the uh, microbots and the, uh, the the mini bots and two star screen and one of my friends told me he saw like, a bunch of devastator that way that was way too overpriced so yeah anyway i picked up bumblebee because g1 bumblebee was missing from my collection so this was a great occasion for me to pick it up and i didn't pick up any other uh, mini bots or star screen because i uh, wasn't too interested in them, uh, in them and they were somewhat kind of overpriced for my taste these retails for about uh, for about twelve dollars canadian so it's about ten dollars us and uh, i believe the original g1 from the 80s sells for 10 bucks so yeah <laughs> anyway this is the original well the, the the original Bumblebee from the 90s, 80s in a reissue. So, yeah, uh, here's the package. Very G1. I think it's identical to the G1 that we used to have back then. So, yeah, uh, we got Bumblebee in robot mode, uh, cardboard on the back. Yep. We've got the transformation steps, a um, couple of legal stuff, and we also have the... Um, uh, stats card and <laughs> yeah back then uh, we used to have a red translucent plastic that we just applied over the stats and we could see the stats in blue highlighted like showing you like the real stats like all oh, the strength the speed whatever the rank but yeah when I was a kid even when I was a kid like I just noticed like you, you can still perfectly see the uh, red and blue lines you can actually the discern like the blue lines you, you don't even need the red uh, the red translucent uh, red eye thingy to see the, <laughs> the blue line so yeah it's really kind of stupid we do have the uh, uh, bio right here you want to read it just pause the video i'm not gonna read it it's just bumblebee in uh yeah although physically the weakest autobot this is kind of odd like the weakest autobot <laughs> anyway so yeah autobot bumblebee g1 i'm gonna oh, focus young all right i'm gonna open the package because this is new it's not open yet so i'm just gonna open it uh, off screen because it's a bubble wrap and I'm probably gonna butcher the whole cardboard, so <laughs> yeah, let's just pull it out. And here we have Bumblebee out of the package, and we got focus, yeah. And like I said, I completely butchered the package, but yeah, that's what happens when it's all in bubbly. So bumblebee uh g1 looks really freaking cool uh it's original well it's the same thing as the original one there's no nothing added no modification i guess uh i really i always thought like the chest would have been in uh die cast but it's not uh only that back plate seems to be in die cast i'm not too sure i believe so but yeah all the rest is in plastic uh, articulation wise we do have rotation in the arms like this uh, the are the legs are uh, separated but they don't have any articulation so the legs uh, yeah the feet does move independently also but it's very limited uh, as you can see the head is really pretty nice so yeah it kind of looks odd but yeah it's pretty detailed so I'm not complaining we do have a nice Autobot logo and yeah, that's pretty much it not much else we do have the weird branching arms and the uh, reactor in the back of the head but still a woo, one that was missing from my collection can we focus 
Yoink. And for a size comparison, here's the world's smallest G1 Bumblebee. It's pretty identical, just like half the size. Here's another one, the, I think it's the uh, uh, Pocket Series. Uh, I believe it's DX9, but it, they don't put their DX9 on it. Here's the, uh, uh, I forgot the company. <laughs> I got so much. Here's the Eye Gear one. And here's the Masterpiece one. So, yeah, kind of nice. Uh, a nice family, you know. Woo. Woo. Let's move the lights a little bit further. So, yeah, it's a uh, really nice uh, set of bumblebees. <laughs> I was about to remove the original one, so yeah. Uh, transformation, it's really simple, there's not much to it, so we just move the arms down, move the head inside, um, move the feet straight like this, and just pull the feet in, and also the legs are gonna go inside of the torso, like this, and then you squeeze the arm in. And now you have the Bumblebee in vehicle mode. Really, really, really simple. <laughs> Still a really nice. It does roll perfectly as you expect. And there's not much else to it. So, yeah. Quick other comparison with the other ones. Here we have the Hot Soldier. High gear. X9 World Smallest and Masterpiece Bumblebee. So now we have a good, good collection of Bumblebees in Volkswagen because I got so much more. <laughs> so, yeah, let's remove these. Let's remove these. So, yeah, it's a really cool idea that they re release the uh, G1. Although the uh, selection of figures that they've picked for the first uh, wave, I guess, of G1 was not probably my most cherished and favorite G1 Autobots and uh, this have gone out, but you know, whatever, it's still cool. Uh, let's hope for, uh, for uh, more, maybe, of a rarer and uh, more decent G1 that they will come out with, but uh, yeah. Uh, Bumblebee G1 still highly recommended if you don't have it in your collection this is the way to go you have a brand new one with tight joint because I know that time does uh, mess the joint up of most figures so yeah uh, cool figure highly recommended even though it's kind of high price for my taste for what it is but yeah the price just keeps going up for every figure so yeah deal with it <laughs> Alright, so thank you for watching and see you next time.